सो वेलकम टू अनदर पॉडकास्ट एंड टुडे वी कैन टॉक अबाउट मैनुअल्स इज ऑटोमेटिक गियर बॉक्सेस गियर बॉक्सेस ये शिफ्टिंग गियर्स सो ए भाई क्या कर रहा है आई एम धनिल ही इज पार्थ वी आर ऑन मोटर बीम वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट गियर बॉक्सेस टुडे एंड माय फेवरेट गियर बॉक्स इज नथिंग एल्स बट द ब्रांड न्यू वन व्हिच हैज लाइक गॉट माय अटेंशन आई एम आई एम टी आई न्यू दैट व्हेन ही चला रहा है तो आजकल एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली दैट्स व्हाई वो बेचारी चली गई वापस लेकिन बिकॉज़ एन अपडेट हैपेंड टू इट एंड ऑल दैट not the car yeah the gearbox intelligent manual transmission a gearbox which is manual but, but does, does not, not have a clutch yes and it is so confusing at once yaar i actually went ahead and put an instagram post talking about all the experience that i had with it mm-hmm. my father tried to drive it couldn't my friend tried to drive it he drove it well but the moment he tried to brake or like mm-hmm. slow down he stood on the brakes and i almost hit my head to the uh, front dashboard that happened once and then he was like ki if it's an automatic why are we changing gears so he stuck to one gear and just read the shit out of it so it uh-huh. is a confusing gear but once i got the hang of it i know i'm not stopping right now and the gearbox does not stop it is that efficient it is that easy mm-hmm. and that useful at the same time but it gives better mileage only on the highway in city it is not good See on the contrary I had a very uh, different opinion on this so when I drove an IMT for the first time it was on the when the pre facelift one which was a long term test car yes yes main to matlab 5 minute mein set ho gaya usme matlab I found it very easy to use very convenient and I mean it's a good concept and not a lot of manufacturers are offering this I yeah. think only Hyundai and Kia have this right now yes. but I mean I was at home within 5 minutes of driving the car of course now because there's no clutch pedal in traffic you sometimes actually forget to upshift yeah. first or second gear may you keep revving the car yeah, and all that yeah. happens which is why the mileage goes down a bit but of course nothing can beat the feel of a real manual but in this also i found it very easy to you know get accustomed to all the new controls basically the the lack of a clutch so i mean i did not have any issue at all yeah. and i actually preferred driving an imt car so i had the venue imt for a really long time and somehow i found it very con- very convenient also and it was decently fun also the turbo petrol but again another fun gearbox is a dct DCT DSG yeah that is Dual one of the clutch. better automatic gear boxes so my Tygoon has a one uh, has a 7 speed DSG it's a dry clutch unit the DQ200 which was not very reliable in the early 2010s but uh, now it is fairly reliable earlier it used to come on the super also the 1.8 SI wow. it used to come on the Octavia 1.8 SI the older one it used to come on the Polo went all these cars and initially it had a bad reputation of you know uh, causing issues major issues with the mechatronics but now it is i think fairly sorted yeah so we have now two favorites imt and dsg but dsg makes you know that when you're driving in traffic now especially with the dq200 yeah. the gearbox somehow feels very jerky with a 20 30 km per hour so okay. when i drive the tygoon in traffic and it is stop go traffic bumper to bumper traffic the car actually shakes a bit jerks a bit and somehow the gearbox feels a bit confused between first second and third gear so it actually has a tendency to upshift very fast so first gear se second gear ekdam turant jati hai traffic mein and then again it has to downshift the speeds are low or it has to change second gear which is why in heavy traffic I think I prefer using the manual mode. Usko manual mein dalo first mein rakho Haan. ya second mein rakho and it feels keep, more smoother that way. Keep rolling. Hmm. They see me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the thing thing with the DSG of course Ford also used to have nice DCT gear boxes yeah. but the thing is that all of these uh, dual clutch gear boxes they have a tendency to heat up. Correct. If the gear box is of a dry clutch type So in traffic a lot of people have this habit ki usko D mein rakhte brake daba ke rakhte mm-hmm. and they just release the brake press the throttle again press the brake and which heats up the gearbox and one of our friend not he did not have the DCT but he was driving the Quid that we have yeah. and it was an AMT yeah the Quid is an AMT so he was driving in stop go traffic it forgot to shift it out from D and he was in traffic and that caused the transmission to be uh, heated up so much that uh, the car the car actually stalled yeah yeah stalled and it stuck to that particular gear it went to neutral or maybe didn't go to neutral something like this happened and he had to leave the car there for mm-hmm. the night i know there was no expense to the amt because the next day uh, when i was there to help the yeah, help the, the colleague gearbox had cooled down anyway yeah so normal d mm-hmm. me aa gaya neutral ho gaya then we drove down over here but mm-hmm. what if a automatic gearbox like heats up and gets damaged completely I prefer manual again only for the reason that manual gearbox if it gets stuck or something mm-hmm. like that I have at least one or two gears which are functioning in some or the other manner and I can yeah, get around yeah. like get the car back to a service center or something like that 
हाँ बट सी नाउ दीज गियर बॉक्स इज डोंट ब्रेक डाउन एवरी डे राइट इट हैपन्स वंस इन अल तो ठीक है उतना एंड आई मीन इट्स नॉट लाइक योर ऑटोमेटिक इज गोइंग टू फेल एवरी अदर वीक एवरी अदर मंथ तो ठीक है उतना बट सी मैनुअल्स कैन ऑल्सो फेल गियर बॉक्स ट्रांसमिशन इशूज हैपन इन दैट ऑल्सो द क्लच कैन फेल ऑन अ मैनुअल एंड क्लच पार्ट्स आर नॉट रियली चीप ओके एंड टॉक अबाउट ऑटोमेटिक्स सी एम डी यूजली गिव इशूज अराउंड सिक्सटी सेवेंटी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स वेन द कार इज बी ड्रिवेन फॉर दैट मच एंड रिपेयरिंग इन एम डी विल प्रॉब्ली कॉस्ट यू अराउंड एटी थाउजेंड बक्स Okay. The regular ones that we see on cars like the Duster or probably on Maruti cars, those are around eighty thousand, ninety thousand to repair if they My undergo goodness. major overhaul. Uh, if you do it in the aftermarket with some aftermarket parts, then the cost would be lower. So if you want to overhaul an AMD gearbox, the ones that are used on the Duster or probably Maruti cars, they cost around eighty thousand to overhaul completely. Okay. And that's of course with original parts. If you do it aftermarket, those sasti may be ho sakta hai. Hmm. And the DSGs, which have the most issues, usme basically what happens is that the mechatronic na that gets heated up, that fails. Okay. And sometimes what happens that the gearbox uh, shifts only into the odd gears or only into the even gears. जैसे oh. से थ्री जाएगी थ्री से फाइव फाइव से सेवन खत्म या तो टू तो से फोर फोर से सिक्स वैसे मेरा डैड ही डज इट इन द मैनुअल आल्सो जब वेन इज बोल्ड टू शिफ्ट टू अदर गेस वन थ्री फाइव खत्म हाँ बट ये अलग फंड है यहाँ पे ब्रेक डाउन की बात करें सो व्हेन द मेकेट्रॉनिक फेल्स इफ यू टेक इट टू द स्कोडा वीडब्ल्यू सर्विस सेंटर इट विल कॉस्ट यू नॉर्मल लाइक ट्वेंटी टू रिप्लेस द मेकेट्रॉनिक कैन नॉट बी ऑफिशियली रिपेयर यू हैव टू चेंज द होल पार्ट तो वन लाख का आता है उसके बाद दस पंद्रह हजार लेबर पकड़ो टैक्स पकड़ो वन एंड हाफ लाख तक जाता है बिल इफ यू डू इट आउटसाइड एक्सपेंसिव या इफ यू डू इट आउटसाइड द पॉसिबिलिटीज आर एंडलेस यू कैन प्रॉब्ली ओपन द मैकेट्रॉनिक सम एक्सपीरियंस मैकेनिक्स नो हाउ टू डू दिस दे कैन ओपन इट दे कैन रिपेयर इट ओवर हॉल इट एंड अगेन पुट इट बैक और मे बी दे कैन यू यू नो सोर्स अ यूज मैकेट्रॉनिक यूनिट फ्रॉम सम अदर कार स्टोर ट्रेल्ड और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड यूज इट इन दैट और प्रॉब्ली जस्ट इम्पोर्ट न्यू यूनिट importing is sometimes cheaper so or just is, carry it with some so there is a way around with the automatic gearbox but manual gearbox is yeah. it's the clutch that's the main thing yeah. clutch and is top the and converter gearboxes don't really fail unless you really badly maintain the car so okay. usko overhaul karne mein bhi it can be around 1 lakh rupees Okay. For the normal six-speed gearboxes, but they don't really fail a lot. Which which gearbox is probably the heaviest that you have seen? Heaviest in terms of weight? Yeah, in terms of weight. I'm not too sure. Okay. But I my personal favorite gearbox is the eight-speed uh, torque converter from ZF. Okay. Of course, I like DSGs, but the ZF eight-speed automatic is the is one of the best. Okay. It is used in BMWs and Jags. Oh, nice. It's a nice gearbox. CVDs also don't fail a lot, but you have to change. Of course, uh, you know, follow the recommended intervals to change the transmission fluid in every gearbox. Understood. If you do that, I think you're good to go for lakhs of kilometers. Let's categorize before we go forward. Let's categorize mm-hmm. manual transmission. Me, there's manual and there's IMT. Yeah. Is there anything yeah. else? That's it. That's manual, it. Manual, manual me, itna hai uh, simple hai. Uh, in automatics, it's a long list. I know there's a torque converter gearbox. Torque converter, AMT, e? DSG, DSG and DCT are the same thing. Exactly. And Dual CVT. clutch. Yeah, and, and CVT. CVT. Continuous variable transmission. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, torque converter again is Path's favorite. Tell me why. It is my favorite. One of my favorites because it is actually the most reliable automatic gearbox. See, I'm not a big fan of AMTs. Yeah. They cause issues in the long run. Be it any brand, sixty, seventy thousand kilometers square. Kuch na kuch issues me aata hai. They are not very smooth. Also, of course, the AMTs right now are smoother than what we got in 2015, probably. But of course, that jerky moment is there. That head nod moment is there. And I mean. somehow i don't like that thing i don't like the feel of any amt which is why amt is of course they are affordable mm. and the premium for an amt compared to that of a torque converter is much lesser Correct. which is why a lot of people are opting for amt cars which is not a bad thing but personally i feel that amt is somehow are not the best automatics and in the long run they do feel you know not so great okay so, so the cars that one of like the few cars from maruti yeah. like the celerio and the most most maruti cars have an amt amt gearbox but the yeah, other Slightly pricier cars have a six-speed torque converter now. It used to be a four-speed in earlier. Jimny yes. me abhi bhi four-speed aata hai. Okay. But uh, yeah, most cars have this torque converter now in Maruti. In Hyundai also, the basic cars are like Grand Nat and Neos. All these cars have an AMT. Cars upwards of the i20 have different types of automatic transmissions. I20 has a DCT. It has an IMT also. N-line. N line is DCT also and IMT also. Okay. Creta okay. diesel is torque converter. Creta turbo is DCT. Creta okay. normal petrol is IVT which is CVT. So okay. Creta has three different automatic gearboxes. And within like with the engine options. Ah, like. or manual bhi usme aata hai. Okay. 
क्या मतलब इतना कंफ्यूजन है ना सो या सो टॉक कन्वर्टर्स आर द मोस्ट रिलायबल ऑटोमेटिक गियर बॉक्सेस सीवीटी इज आल्सो वेरी रिलायबल बट अगेन वेरी फ्यू कार्स हैव सीवीटीज नाउ आई थिंक होंडा कार्स हैव निसान कार्स हैव व्हिच व्हिच गियर बॉक्स हैज द स्विंगम इफेक्ट सीवीटी या सीवीटी मतलब वो यहां से आवाज आती है या सब कीप पुलिंग इन द रेव्स कीप ऑन गोइंग इट्स अ कंटीन्यूअस वेरिएबल ट्रांसमिशन सो द रेव्स कीप ऑन गोइंग हाई एंड बाय द टाइम यू रियलाइज इट्स शिफ्टेड और समथिंग हैज हैपेंड you don't really understand if it has shifted yeah so i mean there's only one uh, gear yeah. but i think cvds are really okay. popular between okay. 2000 there's and no gear it's a single gear na continuous so, variable, variable transmission yeah. so it's one single Heavy gear depth. with different steps so okay. honda calls it a seven step cvt oh. hyundai also has a six or seven steps ivt oh so cvds yes. were massively popular in you know the early 2000s and from the era around 2010 Nissan cars used to have this, Toyota petrol cars used to have this, like the Corolla, okay. the Honda City used to have it, Honda Accord used to have a CVT. Okay, so tell me one thing. I, I understand the CVT part. Now there's something to learn every day, every time. Hmm. Uh, which automatic gearbox will probably give you the best mileage in terms of traffic situations or city right driving situations where uh, there's little moment of traffic and there's stop and go traffic as well. I think, but hmm. no empty roads. I think AMT will give the best mileage in traffic. And that is the lightest also. Yeah, right? and DSG will give the worst possible mileage in traffic. ठीक है. So that's something that's cleared up my mind too. Hmm. And uh, manual is a manual is a manual. So yeah, of course. IMT is again a good option. IMT is a good option, but we don't have a lot of IMT cars like that. Only Hyundai and Kia are offering that. Correct. And uh, I think there is still a big number of people who still prefer driving manual cars. Yes. But the thing is that. See, when I like manual cars, of course, no denying. If it's a nice, powerful, fun car, uh, having a manual is always like a cherry on the cake. Exactly. But and the I thing was, is, uh, I, let me let me do this. Let me do this. I was very happy when we saw the Thar 4x2 with a manual. Oh my goodness! Take yeah, very the first, nice stick it to the second, rev the shit out of it, and just do donuts. <laughs> <laughs> That car, I'm like out of words. I want to buy it. It's so so freaking amazing. Yeah, but the thing is, see, if you talk practically, now there most people use their cars for day, daily commuting. Correct. We also do that only. We drive 80, 90 kilometers every day. Yes. So in that commuting, it really does not make sense driving a manual car, right? There's so much traffic everywhere, especially in Mumbai, Delhi, all these uh, cities, yeah. that somehow it becomes very stressful, very tiring driving a manual car. Pair ka bhi dhyan rakho. Both the hands are being used. You have to look around yes. everywhere and all that. But look, there's all, there are already a lot of things happening. Usme alag se gear shift karo and all that. That adds to the stress factor. That adds to the tiredness factor. Exactly. Which is why people are moving towards automatics. I myself think that my next car will probably be an automatic. Diesel automatic though. Diesel automatic, petrol automatic is also fine. That is I not an issue. Hybrid is also fine. He's gonna buy a diesel definitely. <laughs> But yeah, I mean. Me, just talk. moment you said hybrid. Uh, We drove the uh, high rider. Yeah, yeah. All the way from Bangalore to Bombay. Mm. It had an E CVT. Yeah. So what's the difference between CVT, E CVT, and so? all? It is one and the same only. E CVT may basically what happens is that when you're driving the car in the yeah. city, it's an EV ride. It runs Correct. like an E. So that's Correct. about it. No oh. major difference. It's okay. like a normal CVT. Okay, 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 okay. So a little bit of fun. Okay. Just name for it. Hmm hmm. That's okay. So yeah, because of the convenience factor, because of the day-to-day driving situations, and just the Comfort offered by an automatic. Most people are moving towards automatics, which is a very nice thing actually. And yeah, hopefully more and more cars will have better automatics soon. And I actually like the fact with some automatics, there is a manual mode. Thus, now as he mentioned, you can drive an automatic car in a manual mode where you uh, shift. Uh, Horizontally, or probably you might have paddle shifters if it's a DCT or something like that. So yeah, that yeah. is something like a proper race feel. That is a tang tang tang. But know? see, feel feel. ठीक है. No one uses paddle shifters. <laughs> जिसकी गाड़ी में होता है उसको पता है उसने साल में एक बार probably use किया होगा. गलती से दबा दिया होगा. I have a Tiguan. I have never used the paddle shifters. I use it in D mode या तो S mode या तो ऐसे ही normal manual mode. Haan. But very rarely I use paddle shifters. So you let the gearbox do its job because it is made to do. Yeah, it is doing its job properly. Paddle shifters are good thing, but I feel they're more of a novelty and yeah. like when you're driving the car on the ghat or something like that you can use them or maybe Correct. on the track Correct. but वैसे ठीक है day to day driving कोई use नहीं करता see I have a Brezza also which is long term car yes. and that is also an automatic that is a six speed torque converter okay उसमें manual mode है हाँ. but gear के through you cannot do up down you have to use the paddle shifters only अरे okay and that gearbox is like it is not That quick or something like it is a very lethargic, lazy gearbox. So I, I use it in D mode only. It is drive the car like it is meant to be driven. It is with the K15 C. K15 in, C engine, engine yeah. yeah. So as he mentioned, the bigger 15 500 cc engines get a TC gearbox. Yeah, yeah. 
So we have cleared out. It's a, there's an IMT, there's an MT. Hmm. We've talked about the CVT, uh, AMT, uh, talk converter. Yeah. Um, some some. Uh, is there any other automatic lift? Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So which one is your? My favorite would be a DSG actually, not okay. a talk converter. Achha, sorry for that. <laughs> My favorite in manual is basically the manual, and second comes which is a little bit of an automatic and IMT. Yeah. I yeah. might choose a TC, that is a talk converter or the DSG mm. for race feel and easiness, but I am a manual guy. So Even I am a manual guy, but see, it does not make sense driving a manual now. Yeah. It's not traffic. Hota hai. Why take the additional stress? You know, there is an additional stress that you can take. Save that money, buy a motorcycle or mm. a scooter, and enjoy that. I guess <laughs> on that note, zone. it's time to end. Yeah, <laughs> but the good thing is that certain automakers are still offering a manual gearbox on their sports cars. Like Porsche still offers a manual gearbox on some of the models. Oh, so that is a nice oh. thing. Some of them have been lodged in India also with a manual. So Lovely. that's not a good. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, if you want something for your weekend, if you're driving a sports car pure, for pure fun, you can offer the manual variant also. But for day-to-day -day driving, I think the world has moved on towards automatics, and it's a good thing. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so yeah that's about it uh, time to end this video let me know your favorite automatic gearbox in the comment section below let me know also if you're still a manual guy or if you're now an AT convert and which car do you drive is it an automatic is it a manual let me know your specifications below and I might just rate it with the reply comment let's do that yeah let's do that <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye, -bye.